What's up YouTube, Kainu back here again for another video. Today I'm going to show you the best Logitech C920 settings for OBS. I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. But before we begin, if you enjoy this video and you find it informational, drop a comment down below and then make sure you like and you subscribe. If you have any other questions, let me know. But let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is head over to the Logitech G Hub software. I will put a link down in the description for the software so you guys can download it too. But once you're inside of it, you're going to click on your Logitech C920 and then we're going to leave the camera settings itself alone and then we're going to head over to video. Once you're in video, you're going to see there's no video filters added currently. We're going to click on the drop down right here and then click on add a new filter. So I already created a new filter and called it new video mode right there. We're going to leave the brightness the same at 50%. We're going to leave the contrast the same at 50%. Then we're going to bump the sharpness up to 61%. That's just going to give you a little bit more detail on your actual face and on your frame. And then white balance, I'll leave it on auto. And then saturation, I like to leave that as it is, but you can bump it up if you want to. Maybe you have a little bit more of a pale skin. You can bump it up just slightly in the actual settings. Me personally, I have redder skin because I have red hair, obviously. So I really don't want to bump my saturation up that much. If I am going to bump it up, I'm going to actually bump it up in OBS. All right, so now we are over on OBS and I'm going to show you how to change the Logitech C920 settings within OBS. So the first thing you're going to do is come down to sources and then right click on your Logitech C920 and go to properties. Once you're in properties, you're going to want to change the resolution slash FPS type to custom. All right, wait for that to load. And then for resolution, you're going to want to choose 1920 by 1080. For FPS, you're going to want 30 FPS. For video format, you're going to want MJPEG. For color space, you're going to want to drop it down and go to 709. And then for color range, you're going to drop it down and go to full. All right. Now you're going to click on OK. And in my opinion, this makes it look a lot better, to be honest. It almost looks as good as a camera. Maybe not that good, but it looks a ton better just with these small setting changes. The only other thing I like to do is right click go back to properties again and then click on configure video and then I'll bump my saturation up just the tad from 128 to 146 within the actual properties of the camera and then for me personally I don't like to change my sharpness from within this this actual settings menu I like to change it from within the filter menu so I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK from this screen and then click on OK again and then I'm gonna come back to my sources to my Logitech C920 and I'm going to go to filters and then I'm going to click on the plus in the bottom left of effects and then I'm going to add a sharpen right there and click on OK. And then I like to bump it up to around 0.25, maybe 0.3. Let's see how it looks. 0.3 looks pretty good. So this is the final product. Sometimes I like to zoom it in a bit more, but this looks a lot better than what we first started with. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section and then make sure you like and you subscribe. I'll put all the links in the description as well, but don't forget to take it easy.